not interested in building a reality for themselves. We want to depend on them. We want to depend on them and then get mad when we get mistreated in a system that doesn't want us. The whole public school thing. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And one of the reasons the public school situation is so ridiculous. What's, what's about to happen next Friday? What's about to happen seven days from today? Black folk are going shopping for Black Friday. They going shopping for Black Friday. Seven days from now, we will be out, conscious community included, conscious community. Seven days from now, we will be out spending billions of dollars for useless Christmas gifts. Black Friday is an economic suicide day for Black America. It is an economic suicide day for Black America. The stores are stocking up. Walmart is stocking up. Toys R Us is stocking up. Sears is stocking up. Foot Locker is stocking up. Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Ralph Lauren, because in seven days from today, Negroes are going to lose their mind. They're going to spend in two weeks half of the income they earned they're going to spend in two weeks half of the income that they earn the entire year. There is no worse a day in black. That has to be one of the most evil days of the year. Because you know what we're doing? We're literally liquidating our assets. We're liquidating our assets in order to participate in our enemy's holiday season. We are liquidating our assets in order to participate in our enemies' holiday season. Who does that? Who does that? Sneakers, computers, jeans, uh, book bags, bikes, alcohol, liquor. I mean, look at all the money we spend to go partying on New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve is almost as bad as Christmas. New Year's Eve is almost as bad as Christmas is with the spending. And you know what? We're going to spend more than we did last year. I bet you. 2016, what we spent? Two billion on Nikes, four billion on alcohol, 600 million on McDonald's, nine billion on perm. I bet you we spend more. We're going to spend more because we keep on going up every year. We keep on going up. And when the, and when the minimum wage go up, Negro spending go up. So this whole, and it's sad because I only got 700 grand. And thanks to everybody who donate, but I only got 700 grand. And then check this out. I get crucified. Check this out. I get crucified because I haven't spent it yet. Look at that. I don't, look, I'm getting crucified because I did not liquidate the money. So these Negroes is telling me, spend it. Because if you don't spend it, they're going to say you stole it. But the money is in the bank. But they're telling me if right. you don't liquidate the people's money immediately, they're going to think you stole it. That's how bad it is. You're supposed to spend yeah. everything you get or people are going to look at you sideways. And, and, but mm -hmm. we will question Dr. Umar on $700 that's sitting in an account. He got to answer questions every interview about money. He ain't ain't been a withdrawal on that money yet. I ain't touched it for nothing. All the money I use to fly around and get lawyers to do this and put in bids, that comes out of the money I make at the lectures and the money I make as a certified school psychologist. God bless me enough to be in a career path where I don't have to steal from my people in order to pay my bills. You see, but the problem is so many people, see, here's the issue. The reason they can't believe I didn't steal is because they would have stole. So you got to evaluate right. people from the consciousness and the mindset that they're bringing to the situation. They're saying if I had $700,000 that I didn't have to account for, I would have spent it. Right. They would have. So they're looking at me like, there's no way he ain't spent some of that. You trying to tell me he ain't spent none of that. And you know what's sad? When we get to a point where when somebody doesn't steal, 
we think they stole just by the fact of him saying he never took nothing from it. He must have took something from it. That's how horrible we are. But here's the issue. Have we asked any of our national black leaders what have they done with the money we've been giving them for generations? You got leaders who've been out here for generations, ain't never been asked to give an account. Have we asked the NAACP what they've done with our donations, the Urban League? Have we asked T.D. Jakes and Creflo Dollar? Have we asked all the churches in our community? Have we asked Nike? Black people have a particular liking for Nike and Mercedes Benz that supersedes our liking for any other product in those markets. We ain't went to Mercedes Benz yet and say, how are you using some of the money I've given you to help black folk? We ain't went to Nike yet and said, we spend more money on your Air Jordans than anybody else. What are you doing to reinvest some of that money? All the money we didn't spend on cigarettes, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, we ain't asked nobody nothing, but I got Negroes telling me we need to see your curriculum. We want the curriculum. Negro can't even spell the word. We want the curriculum. But guess what? They child been in public school for 12 years. They never even seen the curriculum for 12 years. Child been in special ed four years, never even read the IEP. Look at this now. Look at this. They said, we want to see your business plan. <laughs> Negro never been to a school board meeting in 12 years. Never been to a school board meeting in 12 years and telling me he need to see my business plan. This is how sick, and I'm going to tell you why. Here's the thing. One, okay, the thing that people love me for is the thing other people hate me for. And that is being unapologetically honest about the black situation. 